All right, this is Brent Leary, and with me today is Monique Dorsonville. Uh, Monique is a public policy manager for Facebook, and they have some really interesting news about a partnership they're doing with the National Urban League. But before we get into that, uh, Monique, thank you for joining me, and tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for having me, Brent. Uh, it's, it's quite the honor. Um, my background before joining Facebook, I worked for the Obama administration uh, for, for seven and a half years. I worked in public engagement and intergovernmental affairs. Uh, a lot of people called our team uh, the front door to the White House. It was Valerie Jarrett's team, and our charge was to engage constituency leaders across the country. Uh, and we also engaged uh, local elected officials, mayors, governors, uh, state legislators on policy issues like raising the minimum wage, um, criminal justice reform, uh, immigration, uh, and, and really making sure that uh, we were connecting uh, the stakeholders and the policymakers, and then also having conversations with folks before uh, policy was enacted at the White House, uh, just to get that input on the front end versus the, the landing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm honored to be at Facebook now on the public policy team, and uh, happy to be uh, on your program today. And uh, I, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that you also spent four years going to one of the great Atlanta universities in Murray. <laughs> And you actually know a little bit about Delaware because of our, our friend Joe Biden. So it's I pretty did, cool. <laughs> I did, I did. And my, my career in politics um, actually started uh, with Stacey Abrams. Oh. Uh, I worked for Stacey Abrams uh, before joining uh, Barack and Michelle Obama in D.C. Wow. And that's really, I really cut my teeth uh, in Georgia. <laughs> so you have a little bit of an interest in the uh, gubernatorial race here in, in Georgia, huh? I certainly do. <laughs> I am following it closely. Very, <laughs> Very excited good. about it. <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit about this new uh, partnership that was just announced between Facebook and the National Urban League around opening these digital uh, centers around 13 cities. Absolutely. So we, we are very excited. Um, Cheryl Sandberg and Mark Morial had a wonderful armchair yesterday at the National Urban League Conference in Columbus. Um, so the partnership is really focused on small businesses. We will be training um, at 13 of the National Urban League's entrepreneurship centers. Uh, and the training, as you mentioned, focuses really on digital marketing skills. So the Urban League has identified this as an area where uh, their members and their entrepreneurs have skills but really want more skills. Um, we know that over 80 million small businesses use Facebook pages every month. And so we know that there's a hunger for this type of curriculum. Um, and we're excited about partnering with the National Urban League because of their local reach. They work with communities of color across the country at the local level. They really have the expertise to know what curriculum will really land, right? What, what skills are needed. And so with that expertise, um, we're really hoping that this partnership uh, can really help us meet our goal of training one million small business owners by 2020. Yeah, so talk a little bit about why that's important to Facebook. So small business owners, as you know, are the economic engine of this country. I think a lot of folks think about Facebook um, as a platform that connects people, right? And, and that really is the, the crux of the business. I think a lot of folks don't know how much small business owners rely on the platform to really run their businesses. You talk to some folks and you say, oh, can I have your website? A lot of folks will tell you, I don't have a website, but I do have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, we know from, from some of our research that um, African-American-owned small businesses, Latino-owned small businesses, um, and veteran-owned small businesses have a lot of success on the platform. So for, for us, it, it, it's a no-brainer. We want to make sure that um, whatever folks are already doing can be enhanced, and then we want to give folks additional skills to really compete in the digital economy. Um, and, and the crux of the training um, is really focusing on best practices, on what tools are available on the platform that folks may not know about. And then there's a third component that's really about branding and helping small businesses tell their story, which is so important in this economy. Yeah, and I guess there are certain skills that uh, maybe the small businesses are more interested in getting up to speed with uh, more than others. Uh, around marketing and how does this program help small businesses kind of be able to 
uh, promote themselves more effectively, efficiently, use marketing opportunities to, to really get their brand out there? Well, the, I, I think you're you're hitting it on the head. I think you can have um, a great product, you can have a great business model, but if you can't effectively tell your story, if you can't effectively cut through, um, you know, with minimal text, with with um, um, you know images that really demonstrate what you're all about then the rest almost doesn't matter, right? And and that's a very, it's a piece of the puzzle that I think a lot of folks don't have. Um, and it's a piece of the puzzle that can really amplify businesses um, and, and really help them perform. And so we're, we're excited uh, about the partnership. Um, and, you know, the Urban League has 13 entrepreneurship centers, but they also have 90 affiliates across the country doing work at the local level. So we think that this is the beginning, um, and we're excited to work with Mark Morial just to see what comes in the future. Maybe you could also talk a little bit about um, you, you, you want to hit that, reach that million business mark. What what are the time frames involved, and in, and in, and how do you kind of track the success of the program? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so last year, um, Mark Zuckerberg he did a, a tour of the U.S. He visited communities. Uh, across the country, and his goal is really to get out of the valley, <laughs> um, to really to really understand how folks were using uh, the platform and what more Facebook could do. Right, um, coming out of that year, uh, the mission of the company shifted. Initially, we were really about connecting people, um, and and the shift is really thinking through beyond connecting people. Um, what, what responsibility does Facebook have after folks are connected? And I think this is, this is a key piece there. Um, so the, the 2020 goal, we are essentially building upon a program that we already have called the Community Boost Program, uh, where we do this program across the country. So, you know, coming out of that year, Mark said, you know, I, I want to go to 30 cities across the country. That goal increased to 50 cities. Mm -hmm. um, each city, there we have a whole small business team uh, that tracks attendees. Uh, they send out surveys afterward because I think part of it, you want to refine the curriculum over time, right? And you want to see, based on different communities, um, rural communities, communities in different cities, there are just different needs, right? right. Um, and so in addition to tracking uh, the number of folks that go through the program, uh, we're constantly iterating on the content itself. And that's why we were really excited to bring on the National Urban League as an advisor. They're now a national advisor, um, and they're going to be helping us think through how to really tailor the program to the communities that they serve. And who all is eligible to participate? So the National Urban League, they will be sending out uh, releases for each of the trainings. So it'll, they'll send it out to their members, but they're sending it out beyond that, much broader. Um, part of our partnership is also with local community colleges. And so that that is a big component that we're also looking at. Uh, but the trainings will be like open to local residents in the communities in which they're taking place. And all all of the trainings are free. I don't know if I mentioned that on at the onset. No, but that's a good thing to mention. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I can't wait to check out the one here in Atlanta. I'm glad Atlanta is one of the thirteen. Um, where can people go to learn more about this? Um, you can go to Facebook's website, uh, and I, I will send you the exact uh, details on the Community Boost program, so you can include that in there. Well, hey, it's been a pleasure, and I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, these centers progress and really help as many as a million businesses out. I think that's great. I think this is some of the most important work uh, that we do as a company, and I'm, important, I'm excited about uh, just scaling it and growing it. Um, so thank you for taking the time, and I hope to talk again soon. Sure.